this section now, we now see the theory of cost. We are going to look at the concept of cost, the break-even analysis, measuring cost functions and data issues. Here, we can see that cost is often applied to the production of commodities and represent the difference between the market price of a commodity and the general price. That is the difference between the market price and the, the general the market price and the commodity and the general price of commodity. So that's the meaning of cost. In the cost theory, there are often However, the question is usually how much to produce as opposed to which inputs to use. All these things depends on the cost. When you know the cost of producing all these things, you now know how much to produce and how are you how you are going to employ your inputs in order to give you a better output. Explicit cost. This is the out of pocket of the firm. In this particular explicit cost, this is a cost incurred by the firm, whether there's changes or whether there's a profit or no profit. So they have to make this cost. So implicit cost is the opportunity cost of resources owned by the firm, but you use it in the business. That's the opportunity cost of the resources which the firm has. So utilize it in the business. Fixed cost. This is an indirect cost for business expenses that are not dependent on the level of good produced by the business. It is also, it is seen that this fixed cost has been there. Whether the firm make profits or they do not make profit, whether they produce a large quantity or they do not, even if they do not produce anything, that cost is fixed. So example of this fixed cost is rent, um, uh, building, the rents and the building. So variable cost also, the variable cost means that there are changes in the quantities of goods. So it means that there are costs, there are costs that are changes during the the cost, the cost will change when they when there are variability. If there's any increase, if there's increase in productivity or increase in goods or services, it will change the cost. The sum cost. The sum cost is a cost that has been incurred and cannot be recovered. In this particular sum cost, it means that this is uh, uh, the cost that you've uh, you have already put in place. Maybe you've decided to do a particular, go into a particular business, and this is the amount I want to bring out for this particular business, and you now deposit that money for that particular business. Whether the, the business flourish or do not flourish, you cannot get the money back. So that's it some cost. So properties of cost function in the short run will have the total cost, we have the average cost, we have the marginal cost, we have the profit maximization. Remember that this profit maximization in business is the utmost aim of entering into business because for you to enter into business you must maximize your profits. That's the essence of business. Okay, now let us look at the break-even analysis. But from the economic point of view, break-even break even point is also where there's no loss, where there's no gain. So everything is, we just use it to, it's the same thing as equilibrium. It's a situation where there's no loss, where there's no gain. And if there's no loss, there's no gain, there's no problem. Categories of cost. You have the actual cost, you have the opportunity cost, you have the discretionary production cost, you have the fixed cost. Um, okay, so in summary, in the study we have extensively discussed the concepts of cost. We saw the break even analysis. We we'll talked that break even analysis is almost the same thing as uh, equilibrium. We we'll saw the measuring cost function and the data issues. Thank you.